Have you recently installed Windows 11? In this video, you will see Windows 11 settings you should change right now. Windows 11 has many unnecessary settings that don't add any value. We will explain why you should change a setting. If you feel that way, you can change. Otherwise, just skip that setting. Disable notification. If you want a distraction-free Windows 11, you should disable the notifications. If you don't want to disable them completely, you can disable the notifications for a particular app disturbing you. Open Setting. Under the System tab, click on Notifications. Click on Notifications to see more options. If the notification sound is bothering you, you can disable it from here. If you don't want to see notifications and reminders on the lock screen, disable these. If a particular app is bothering you, you can disable its notification or customize that by clicking on them. To completely disable the notifications, turn it off. Disable advertisements. Windows 11 displays advertisements, recommendations, and suggested content on the Start menu and Settings app. If you don't like them, you can disable the advertising. To do that, open Settings. Click on Privacy and Security. Now click on the General tab under Windows Permissions. Now disable all these options to disable different kinds of advertising on Windows 11. Sign in with a local account. If you are using your Microsoft account to sign in on Windows 11, they will record your usage and associate with your account. If you don't like that and want to use your local account on Windows 11, you can easily do without losing any data. Press Windows plus the I button to open the setting quickly. Now click on Accounts. Select Your Info. Now click on Sign in with a local account instead. Then follow the instructions to convert your account to a local account. Change your default browser. By default, Windows 11 uses the Microsoft Edge browser to open all kinds of Internet files. Although Microsoft Edge is a great browser, if you want to use any other browser, you can do that. Install your preferred browser and then open Settings. Click on Apps, then select Default Apps. Now search for Microsoft Edge. Select it. Then replace Microsoft Edge with your preferred browser on every file extension. It will insist that Edge is fast, secure, and built for Windows 11, so don't switch. But you have to change it, so click on Switch anyway. Disable Start Menu Recommendation Windows 11 shows recommendations on the Start Menu. If you don't like that, you can disable it. Open Settings. Click on Personalization, then select Start. Now disable Show Recently Opened Items in Start, Jump List, and File Explorer, and Show Most Used Apps. Now you will not see any items in the Recommended section. It is not possible to remove the Recommended section completely yet. However, Microsoft is testing a feature with the insiders that will allow you to remove the Recommended section later. We have a video on Windows 11 tips and tricks that you can use to become Windows 11 Advanced User. Click on the I button or check the description. Add Favorite Folders to the Start Menu You can add some common folders to the Start Menu that you use frequently. Open Settings. Click on Personalization. Then select Start. Then click on Folders. Now enable the folders that you frequently use. These folders will appear in small icons beside the Power option in the Start menu. Enable Clipboard History and Sync. With the Clipboard History, you can see the text you have copied earlier and then use them by pressing Windows plus the V button. And if you want to use the copied text across your different devices, you can enable the Sync option. Open Setting. Under the System tab, scroll down and click on Clipboard. Then enable the Clipboard History. Then enable the Sync across your devices. You can select either Automatically Sync or Manual Sync. Disable Auto Update App and Auto Play Videos. 
In Microsoft Store, you can disable the auto-update apps and autoplay videos. These options can start consuming your internet bandwidth anytime, so disable it and update the apps manually when you're not doing something important. Click on your profile picture and select App Settings. Then disable the app updates and video autoplay. Change third-party app installation. On Windows 11, third-party app installation is enabled by default. If you leave this option enabled, you can accidentally install malicious apps from third-party sources, so disable it. Open Settings. Click on Apps and select Apps and Features. Now change Choose Where to Get Apps from Anywhere to the Microsoft Store only. Disable the online speech recognition. If you don't use apps with Microsoft's online speech recognition, then you should disable it. Open Settings, go to Privacy and Security, select Speech, disable the online speech recognition option. Disable inking and typing. On Windows 11 PC, you rarely use inking and typing personalization. If you leave it enabled, Microsoft will use your typing history and handwriting patterns to make this feature more useful, so it's better to disable it. Go to Privacy and Security in the Settings, then select Inking and Typing Personalization. Now disable it. Disable Diagnostics and Feedback. If you don't want to send diagnostics and feedback data to Microsoft, you can disable it. Open Settings. Go to Privacy and Security, select Diagnostics and Feedback. Now turn off the feature. Disable Activity History. Microsoft uses your activity history, like the websites you browse and your apps, to personalize your other Windows computers. If you don't want to use this feature or you don't have multiple Windows devices, you can disable this option. Open Settings, go to Privacy and Security, Select Activity History, then uncheck this box. Adjust Power Mode and Plan. By default, Windows 11 uses the Balanced Power Mode to save battery. You can change it to the best performance. If you want to use your PC for rigorous work like gaming or video editing, it will help you. Open Settings. Under System tab, go to Power and Battery. Then select Best Performance in the Power Mode section. You can also customize the power plan according to your need. On the Start menu, type Edit Power Plan. Here you can customize when to turn off your display and when to put the computer to sleep. Change Refresh Rate. You can change the refresh rate to take full advantage of your monitor. If your monitor supports a higher refresh rate, you should change it in Windows 11. Open Settings. Under the System tab, go to Display. Then click on Advanced Display. Now change the refresh rate of your display. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.